And we are back with more adventures of the Florida Powerboat Club. Stu Jones here, president of the club, along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, here in the Pompano Beach studio as we continue our feature coverage of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run, which took on a new format in Key Largo for 2021. And this is going to be episode number five. And to just recap where we were on the last show, we had arrived at the Playa Largo Resort in Key Largo, spent a little time here as we got the boats nestled in. Then we had a big day Friday at Gilbertson Key Largo, which was home to our new Poker Run Village, which featured an entire manufacturer's showcase of all the latest performance models. And along with that dockside coverage, we got out on the waterways, giving all of the manufacturers and dealers a chance to run the boats fast so you guys could get a closer and better look at how well they run and how great they feel on the water and of course we caught up with a lot of our regular poker run teams who were just there to have fun and get away from the great white north and we're now going to continue that coverage so before we get started let's thank our sponsors florida powerboat clubs 2021 series sponsors include blackwater boats and their sister company deep impact boats along with their exclusive worldwide dealer plantation boat mart Midnight Express Power Boats, Mercury Racing Wide Open, Mystic Power Boats, Myco Custom Trailers, Nortec High Performance Boats, Performance Boat Center, and our official prize sponsor, Superior Communications, providing us with Garmin and Icon products as prizes for our Poker Run events. So let us get back to our Poker Run venue uh, with, of course, Gilbert's right there in the foreground. And look to the left, that's the Anchorage Resort and the Florida Powerboat Club. It actually reserves space at both locations. And this is going to be Poker Run headquarters with all of the boats on display. And, of course, a total of 35 hotel rooms for our club members and our exhibitors to enjoy because uh, this keeps them on the property and makes it so much more convenient uh, with having their boats here on display and taking people out all day long. It's a really a long day for a lot of these guys, but the facilities are truly unique. And we heard a lot from them in our previous episode. A lot of our manufacturing sponsors were saying, what a great venue this is. And to illustrate that point, well, Tom Stewart here is on this uh, MTI, and they're on the backwaters behind Gilbertson. There's so much extra dockage back here that it gives uh, all of our exhibitors and our sponsors and even our participants so much dockage so they can come and go from the resort and I think that we all agreed that that is what made this Gilbert's venue uh, such an ideal location for us all. And of course, it's right here in the heart of Key Largo. And just so that everyone is uh, up to speed on the format for the event, remember that we have multiple resorts as well. So in addition to Gilbert's and the Anchorage across the way, where we had you know limited number of rooms at the Anchorage, but we had first class lodging at Playa Largo Resort as well as the Marriott Key Largo Bay Beach Resort, which is uh, right here nearby on Blackwater Sound. And some of you may recall we did a little feature on the Mariners Club Resort, which is where several of our participants stayed. Those were luxury three-bedroom and four-bedroom condos with private slips nearby. So altogether, we really have all of Key Largo locked up. And with over 100 teams participating, this is really a new all-time record for the Florida Powerboat Club here for attendance in Key Largo. And, of course, we would not be able to bring you guys this amazing coverage without our helicopter program, and it is one of the best. We actually have this R44 booked every day with its own landing platform uh, anchored right here off of Gilbert's. And every morning at about 9.30 in the morning, we are back up in the air with our FPC photo and video crew, and we offer these services to all of the attendees. So let's catch up with Brant and Jamie Daniels from Kansas who are really on a streak with the Florida Powerboat Club in this 32-foot skater, a long way from home, uh, Kansas, of course, well over 1,000 miles away. But somehow they have managed to attend the Key West Poker Run back in November. They followed that up with the January Winter Poker Run down to Marathon. And here they are again now for the Miami Boat Show Poker Run now in Key Largo. So three in a row, not a bad attendance record for this couple who seem to love powerboating. And for those of you who love skaters, well, this is a 1996 32 skater powered by Mercury Racing 800 SCs. And the boat is completely maintained by Brandt himself. And he really keeps it running great. And I love reading their video bios because they always have such nice things to say about the club. But a uh, long ways from home, 1,500 miles, uh, Brant and Jamie Daniels. Let's listen into this skater because it's got some big power. Yeah. 
but you may not see this boat much anymore. The last I heard, the Daniels have bought themselves a 38-foot fountain center console with triple Verados, and it's coming to the Key West Poker Run. And it looks like a bunch of cats are getting ready to go out and play, and that's exactly how we set this up, to just mill around and wait for the chopper. Here we are with Bo and Tiffany Renfro in their Skater 368 team, Dirty Money. Somehow we only got five seconds of this clip, so we're just going to keep playing it back and playing it back and playing it back because I don't want Bo to think he didn't get fair time on the video. There you go. That's your fourth time. And I think that that's a very artistic look for that boat. Well, how do you know that you have MTI fever? Well, just ask Bob Lottis. He's got himself a 42 center console MTI. Now he's got himself a brand new 390X with, of course, a pair of Mercury Racing 450s. What a beautiful ride and obviously a boat that has taken the MTI world to a whole new level. And I think that these boats are just going to keep coming and coming because everybody wants one. And what's not to like? Uh, beautiful graphics, an incredibly laid out interior with seating for eight. So let's spend a little more time back at the Poker Run Village to catch up with some of our exhibitors and sponsors to see what they had to say about this event. Uh, my name is Devin Wozencraft and owner of Wozencraft Insurance. I just say that uh, I'm just grateful that with what's been going on in the past year with the pandemic that uh, we're still able to get together and again Stu and Jackie have decided to put this on a nice uh, safe venue that uh, allows boaters and the public to come in and view so many beautiful boats out here at the docks. So many different manufacturers have come. Just looking forward to having another great year. We uh, were very fortunate uh, this past year to see a lot of increase in boat sales and hopefully that continues. Uh, it's, it's been great to be part of a family that uh, is very close knit. Well, thank you to Devin for attending. Now let's catch up with Andreas Carpenter from Concept Boats in Miami. I'm here with Concept Boats at the uh, 2021 Florida Power Boat Club uh, Poker Run. So I got here two of our 44s that we came out with recently. Uh, we got one set up with quad 400Rs and one set up with 450Rs. And I think it's truly amazing just to see how far this company has come. It's a family-run business uh, over 30 years now. Luis Avila, as well as his son Eric and uh, his daughter as well now at the helm. And they're just doing such a great job with all the fit and finish on these boats. And remember that this Concept 4400, it was one of the front runners. This boat came out well over 10 years ago when a lot of people would never have considered building a center console. And yet all of the performance manufacturers now have a center console in their lineup or several. We, uh, we put actually three uh, skylights in on the side so you get absolute uh, wonderful natural light in there. Uh, we're really excited to show these off because it seems to be the new hype in the market. And uh, we think we absolutely killed it with these models. And I might mention one more 4400 down the pipeline belongs to Don and Donald Haddon, Florida Powerboat Club members who will soon take delivery, and I expect to see this boat on the Emerald Coast Poker Run. Can't wait. One other thing I'd like to mention, and I think that it's excellent that Comset does this, but they have annual owner's events. In particular, they have an owner's event down to Key West every year. A lot of boats take part. We were able to join them just recently, last weekend actually, and uh, our FPC photo and video crew flew over uh, their event over 40 boats headed from Key Largo all the way down to Key West and if you are a concept owner you get to take part in these events and I think that's a fabulous benefit of owning a concept boat and above all it enhances your boating lifestyle and I give a lot of praise to concept for having these events and our next sponsor is Dennis Delatore from Plantation Boat Mart who represents both Blackwater and Deep Impact Boats. Remember guys, we're at the height of COVID here in February at this open air venue. And I respect all of our guests' wishes to be all masked up for this interview. So this is probably the last time you'll see Dennis Delatore wearing his mask. So let's hear what he has to say about Plantation Boat Mart located in Tavernier, Florida, just a few miles down the road. Hello, my name is Dennis Delatore. I'm from Plantation Boat Mart and Marina, and I'm also part of the Blackwater and Deep Impact Manufacturing. We have right here a 369. She's new to the fleet. Um, gentleman right here that owns it, his name is Jeff Real. He is our new Northern rep, factory direct rep for Deep Impact. We have a 36 with triples. We have our 43, which is our flagship model as of right now. Everything is custom on the boat as far as you could change anything on it. That's what makes us a little bit different than anyone else. 
The best thing about what's going on right now, at least for us, is we have a new 499 being built as we speak. It's gonna be a standard five engine boat. It's gonna hold a new 600 standard or five 450s or five engines of your choosing. We're so happy that we're here with Stu and FPC and moving, moving forward in the future with them. We own a marina called Plantation Boat Mart and Marina. We are located in Tavernier, Florida. It's not just for us. The marina is for anyone. Anyone who's traveling through the South Florida area or in the Keys area, we have plenty of dockage. We have fuel, we have ice. We have, uh, we'd be able to launch your boat in and out. We have trailer storage. So in case you're traveling through the Keys, it just makes it easy. You can literally call us, stop by, it's simple, but it's for everyone. You know, saying in case you're in a bind or you need something or service of some sort, we're here for you. Special thanks to Dennis Delatore and his team. Uh, and I must say that Dennis has been involved in the club for well over 20 years. I'm so happy to see their success there at their dealership in Tavernier and that they represent both the Blackwater and the Deep Impact line. You can expect to see a lot more of Plantation Boat Mart on our Florida Powerboat Club events as we stop in to say hi, squirt a little fuel, or just pick up our next poker card. My name is Nick Buckman with uh, Seakeeper. We are a gyroscopic stabilizing company. Um, we provide, uh, we sell gyroscopic stabilizers for boats 20 feet all the way up to 220 feet. Um, we're here today at the Florida Powerboat Club Miami Boat Show Poker Run. Um, we've been a sponsor here for the last four or five years with Stu and Jackie, and um, we're just out here enjoying the event again t this year in beautiful, sunny uh, Key Largo. So we're on our 27 Sea Hunt. Um, it's our newest uh, demo boat, and it has our Seakeeper 1, um, our, also our newest model. Uh, that, that Seakeeper is for boats 22 to up to 30 feet, so it's our latest and greatest model. Um, our Seakeeper on this boat is mounted aft under where the captain sits. Um, in a leaning post, it can be mounted anywhere below deck, above deck, um, and basically takes all the, all the roll, side to side roll, out of out of boating. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, we're a lot of uh, the, these these go fast boats, these power boats like it because when they exit the water and re-enter the water, they're parallel with the horizon. They don't have to land and correct land correct when they steer. So um, it's a it's a great group of people. We're we're happy to to be here again. Thanks to Nick and uh, Captain Brian. You guys are the best. I enjoy boating with you guys, and thanks for your continued support. Now let's catch up with the team at Outer Limits Offshore Power Boats, led by Danny Kleitz. My name is Dan Kleitz, and I'm from Outer Limits Offshore Power Boats out of Bristol, Rhode Island. And we're here at the uh, Florida Power Boat Club Miami Boat Show Poker Run 2021. And uh, down here to uh, get out of the snow and uh, enjoy some of the Florida sun. We got a couple customers down here. Uh, actually delivering two boats to customers down here, which is great, and uh, having a blast so far. This is actually the boat I'm standing next to you right here is a 2020 SL50 with Mercury Racing 1100 1350s. We're delivering to a customer down here. Uh, it's actually his first Outer Limits, and this is his first uh, big poker run. Uh, so he's really excited, and I ran the boat with him on the run today. Uh, so give him some of the pointers about doing poker runs, and uh, he's having a blast. He's just loving it. And then we also brought a brand new uh, SL52 uh, powered by 1100 slash 1350s as well uh, that we delivered to uh, one of our longtime customers, uh, Don Verkylin. And um, he saw the boat for the first time down here and ran it in the poker run and uh, he loves it. Custom interior in it, great Stephen Miles design paint job on it. Uh, it's a really cool boat. Just we got a couple new models coming out this year. We actually got a brand new outboard cat, our SC37, uh, that will be uh, debuting this spring. And then we're actually coming out with a 39-foot uh, center console, uh, an SX39, uh, that will be uh, debuting later this year as well. Uh, so getting more into the some of the outboard game, and we actually have our SV29 with uh, powered by the twin 300Rs on display down here as well. Now we're going to spend a little time with uh, our newest member, Delaney Walker, who is an NFL superstar uh, playing with the Tennessee Titans. Delaney loves power boating, and here he is with this brand new SL50, and what an amazing ride it is. Powered by Mercury Racing Dual Cal 1100 1350s, this is truly the ultimate performance V-bottom, and a brand that is very familiar around the Florida Power Boat Club circles since as far back as 1997 when the very first 37 stiletto showed up right here on this Miami Boat Show run. 
Don Verkulin was introduced to the club with a 52-foot MTI that he purchased from our club member Gino Gargiulo. But here he is now in his brand new 52-foot outer limits and he says he's loving it. It's got the power to run well over 150 miles per hour, but he's just got it on cruise control right now so we can get a great shot of it from our helicopter. Don is from Wisconsin. He spends a lot of time at work still, but when he's out to play, he comes down here to the Florida Keys where he has a beautiful home and he's gonna keep the outer limits on a boat lift there. This SL-50 represents the flagship of the Outer Limits fleet, and most would agree it has amazing styling. I love the deep freeboard and the huge wraparound cockpit and those incredible graphics, thanks to Steven Miles Design, one of the leaders in high-performance graphics and paint jobs on these high-performance boats. And I couldn't help noticing in the segment earlier that Dan introduced to us that Outer Limits will be bringing out a new center console model very soon. Of course, they also have that smaller 29-foot uh, model uh, that is more of an entry-level boat for somebody that can't afford a million-dollar powerboat. But I, I think it's important to point out that Outer Limits is one of the last builders here in our sport that still brings us these high-pedigree performance offshore cruisers that are in a class of their own. And with these Mercury Racing QC4 platforms, you know, from the 1100 to the 1350, 1550, these dual cal motors, you really are not gonna get a more reliable offshore performance boat uh, than they're building these days. And here now joined by Jason Bourne in the blue and green boat in the foreground. Uh, that pretty much sums it up, guys. This is what Outer Limits Power Boats is all about. And uh, with Jason and his team now playing a bigger role in the management and the direction of Outer Limits, along with Dan Kleitz managing the operations and sales, I think they have a wonderful team and I wish them all the luck and also thank them for their continued support with the Florida Powerboat Club. Let's quickly say hi to Tim Marcoux. This is a Pantera factory demo, 26 Pantera, a single 7 Marine 627, but they promise that the next ones are gonna be powered by twin Mercury racing 300 Rs. And back to spend a little more time with Joe Sabo from New Jersey. He's also got a home in Cape Coral, Florida. And uh, I like the way he summed it up in his video bio, back after a six-year break. Well, I think it was probably more of a seven- or eight-year break, Joe. But you know what? Good to have you back, buddy. Spent a lot of time in the club with his 38-foot uh, cigarette. Everyone remembers that boat. But says he's loving his MTI 340X. It's powered by a pair of Mercury Racing 400s. Loves the boat. He says he loves the water, meets great friends on these poker runs. And I'm just happy to see Joe back in the saddle and joining us on these Florida Powerboat Club events. As they say, birds of a feather flock together, and this is a sister ship, another MTI 340X powered by a pair of Mercury Racing 400Rs. But this one is Tim Gallagher from Performance Boat Center. Of course, we see him driving around in a lot of different boats, and he's got to change his hat many, many times. Why is that? Well, because they sell the right performance line, but they also sell the MTI line. In fact, I would guess that they are the largest national dealer for MTI and with their location at Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri, it's understandable why. And just checking back here at Gilbert's one more time, and there's that beautiful 80-foot Sunseeker Team 007 uh, anchored off to the right side of your screen. Wynn and Sarah Farnsworth, who are actually registered for the poker run, and that big Sunseeker is about to move to the dock a little later for a huge dock party. We'll have more of that in our next episode. And you got to ask yourself, where's all the boats? Well, guys, it's late in the afternoon. Everyone is still out having fun. It's such a beautiful day, and who can blame them? But by nightfall, these docks will once again be full, and the party will begin. Now we're going to take you to another feature of a new manufacturer that has an entry-level boat well under $200,000. We caught up with Jovan Sanchez from Costa Custom Boats. I'm Yvon Sanchez and I'm with uh, CCB264, the hybrid cat, and uh, we're here enjoying the poker run. Well, we're featuring our 26-foot hybrid cat. It's uh, basically the boat that does it all. It, uh, it's fast, it's fuel efficient, it's wide, it's got plenty of room, and it's a big boat in a small package. So it floats in 14 inches of water, so you get down to knee deep. It's great for the sandbar, it's great for going to the restaurants, it's great for fishing. We take the boats to the Bahamas and it's a perfect all-around boat. Yeah, we have a 300 racing on this boat and the other boat has a 300 Verados. 
Uh, we're enjoying the event. It's a good opportunity to be able to show off the boat and the performance of the boat and get a lot of eyes on our product. It's nice to see all the other manufacturers and it's a great opportunity for everyone. So I think it's uh, important to stress that this is a hybrid boat. So we're looking at a boat that clearly has a you know fishing pedigree. It's going to be really a great offshore or inshore bay water fishing boat. Uh, it's got all the features and you know that any fisherman would want. We of course are not a big fishing audience in this club, but the hybrid aspect would point me to say that you know this would be a great poker run boat on at least a number of poker runs. I don't think you'd take it offshore to Bimini in four to five footers, but. Uh, to be running all throughout the Florida Keys and most of the events we do, I think that this under 30-foot cat with a pair of Mercury 300s, I know they have mainline motors on the black boat, and they've got 300 R's on the white boat. In fact, the black boat belongs to William Herter, and I believe it is hole number one, but just look at the rigging on these boats and the amount of attention to detail that goes into them. So I think that uh, this builder has got a great future ahead, and I know that a lot of our viewers are not necessarily fishing enthusiasts, but... If you bought this boat, I think you'd become one real soon. <laughs> That's what I could say. We'll find out more about these boats as time goes on because we know that the Chief Marine Group who are getting on board with the Florida Powerboat Club, now operating out of Isla Morada, they will be a designated Florida Keys dealer for this lineup. Well, it's been at least two minutes without an MTI, so we just have to get back to the formula, guys. <laughs> as we catch up with Peter and Carolyn Fink, uh, their first event with the club in this MTI 340X powered by Mercury Racing 450s. Congratulations to MTI for winning the Manufacturer's Cup for the top representation on the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. And it's time to catch up with some of our other club members who are really just out to play today, Chris and Shelby Mattingly with this high-level shot as they cruise through this scenic Dusenberry Creek that's Blackwater Sound off in the distance in the background and way on the other side of that bay is where Gilbert's is you can see just how scenic it is. Now, if you're down at the boat level, though, all you can see is mangroves on both sides, and you're probably not aware that those other waterways are surrounding you on all sides. But you can see all the white water all churned up. That's because everyone is just taking their time. And of course, this big 59 Tirana leading the way that was David and Leanne Branton from Louisiana. And everybody is just chilling out and just having a nice ride with nice spacing. And this is exactly how you need to do it through these Florida Keys, especially the Upper Keys uh, and these areas that are very congested. This is Tarpon Basin, a small bay that you cross over, but you still have to maintain careful navigation uh, through these marked channels because there's a lot of shallow water in Tarpon Basin. So you really got to be on your best behavior and be paying attention to your charts. In this case, it's just easy to follow the leader. So while these poker teams are out having fun, let's flash back to just about an hour earlier here on the docks at Gilbert's uh, with our newest and lovely FPC girl. Her name is Deanna, and she hails from the Fort Lauderdale area. Her first event with the Florida Powerboat Club, and so happy to have her along. Such a pleasant girl, and she seemed to feel very comfortable here on Chris and Shelby Mattingly's 46-foot outer limit. So join me in welcoming the beautiful Deanna. So thank you for joining us, Deanna. And uh, guys, I've got some great news. There were three other lovely FPC girls waiting in the wings for their photo shoot. We're going to have that complete feature in just a few minutes to close off this show. So stay tuned. So as the night fell here on our great venue here at Gilbert's, uh, we were able to 
really just take over the tiki bar and provide our very own entertainment. In fact, we directed all of the entertainment throughout the weekend. We hired all the bands to come in with the help of Gilberts and their entertainment director. And tonight it's going to be the Taylor King Band who did a sensational job of entertaining our Poker Run guests. With this live entertainment and a beautiful night, this Poker Run Village venue was simply ideal and had something for everybody. Whether you just wanted to relax at the bar, enjoy dinner, or get your drink and wander down the docks and check out all of the boats with this incredible LED light show going on, there was truly something for everyone and what a great venue we had here at Gilbert's. What an amazing evening we had Friday night. Guys, uh, I don't think it could get much better than that. I think that this Gilbert's venue for the February Miami Boat Show Poker Run, well, we'll do it again in 2022. But enough about that. Uh, we have some important business to deal with here, and that's our new FPC girls. Kendall in the middle with the white bikini. That is Marissa on the right. And thanks to our FPC members for loaning us the front decks of their beautiful boats. That is Chris Colson's 39-foot Levy Craft. And I cannot think of a better setting than these beautiful offshore power boats as a backdrop for this FPC girls photo shoot. But there's only one FPC girl missing so far, and I want you guys to try to guess who that is. And here she is. If you guessed that Miss Marissa Everhart was missing, well, you were right, because here's Marissa, and so happy to have her back with us on this event. One of our longest running FPC girls. She's been with us for well over three years now. Always looking great and keeping our FPC members entertained. Well, guys, I hope that we checked off all the boxes for this uh, episode number five with feature coverage of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run with its new format here in Key Largo. But we have just passed the 30-minute mark, and so it's time to sign off. But remember, there's one more episode coming very soon, guys, to complete the coverage of this epic February event down here in Key Largo. Thank you so much to all of our participants and to our sponsors for joining us and to all of our viewers here on our YouTube channel. We're going to keep the episodes coming, so remember, guys, to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that notification bell so you get an update every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page, and you guys know who you are, and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We have got a fantastic year planned for 2021 with members of the Florida Powerboat Club, so stay with us. Meanwhile, we're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer Ryan McCoy in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.